You've nothing to stay for. You've nothing to live for, really, have you? Look down there. It's easy, isn't it? Why don't you? Why don't you? Go on. Go on. Don't be afraid. Hey guys, it's the blind guy here with another review, and we have another good old movie review where I recommend a good old movie pre-1980 that you guys should check out in less than five minutes. Today we're looking at Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca from 1940, Best Picture winner, and this stars Laurence Olivier and my personal favorite actress from that time period, Joan Fontaine. The story essentially is Joan Fontaine's character falls in love with Laurence Olivier, who is a rich, uh, rich aristocrat. I guess that's kind of redundant. Is a, an aristocrat whose first wife passed away, and it's a bit mysterious as to how or why. And she moves into this great big mansion with him, and there's some really interesting character dynamics between she and Olivier and the housekeeper who seems to be extremely fond of the first wife. And then, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but things start turning towards the worst, towards the end of the movie. Um, Fontaine's performance is excellent in this movie. The movie is one of the first ones I've ever seen. It may be the first, um, at least that I'm aware of, where you're shown the outcome at the beginning of the movie, and then the movie goes back um, gives you a flashback and then tells you how you got there and why you got there. Um, the mansion is great, old and spooky. Obviously, it's well directed because it's a Hitchcock movie, who is always, in my opinion, going to give you a solid, for the most part, a, a solid movie, an enjoyable experience. Um, definitely check it out. It's uh, Rebecca from 1940. It has some great atmosphere and scenery when it, um, I believe it. It's been a while since I've seen it. I believe it takes place in Monaco to begin with. Um, somewhere in the Mediterranean is where she meets Olivier. And that's got some really cool scenery to it as well. But Joan Fontaine's character arc is excellent in the movie. Um, she starts toughening up as she goes and becoming more uh, conscious or uh, courageous as the movie goes. And so I think it's worth watching for that reason alone. And so let me know in the comments below if you've seen Rebecca. And if you check it out, let me know what you guys think. I think it's definitely worth your time and it is not difficult to find. So that's 1940, Rebecca, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. I'll see you guys next time.